So this is the story of the greatest comeback I've ever had. I was at summer camp as a kid, fourth or fifth grade. This <laughs> this bully is picking on me, much bigger kid, pushing me around. He's like, Aah. pretty intimidating guy. You can definitely, you know, do some damage if he decides to punch me. And he looks down at me, puts up his fist in the air, and he goes, "Do you want this up your?" And I go, do you want it up my And he goes, uh, uh, and he runs away. Neither of us wanted that to happen. <laughs> my family and I were visiting Cleveland and we went to a museum. I was sipping on a root beer and trying to go into the next room when a security guard stopped me and said, son, you can't bring your pop in there. And I turned and looked at my dad and asked him, why can't he go in? Ah. There she is. Hello, Luna. Hello, Bear. I was just having a few words with the stars. You were? Mm hmm Well, if you don't mind me asking, what do you talk about up there? Oh, the usual star stuff. Twinkling, shining, that sort of thing. <laughs> oh, really? And what was your day like, Bear? Well, it was great, Luna. With lots and lots of words. Oh, really? Yeah. Pip and Pop did some great rhyming. In fact, <laughs> they're real rhyme, rhyme masters. masters. <laughs> That's right. Oh, and Harry came for a visit and found out that you should choose your words carefully. They really matter. How true. Why, without words, you and I wouldn't be able to talk to each other the way we do each night. You're right, Luna. Well, Ojo Trilo and I made a pretend forest with real leaves. And, you know, it's not easy being a tree. Oh, I know that very well, Bear. Some of my best friends are trees. Well, Ojo Trilo and I made a pretend forest with real leaves. And, you know, it's not easy being a tree. Oh, I know that very well, Bear. Some of my best friends are trees. 